Ladies and gentlemen, this is Wizard Caracol and here today I'm going to experience the greatest ski base in Kyrgyzstan and we will start right now, right here. Get ready! So people, we have some someone special today and that special guy is Mr. Brian. He is going to ski first time in his life and this is great that he's experiencing his skiing here in Kyrgyzstan. Hey Brian! Oh, that was his first time. That's okay. I can help you stand out, mister. Thank you. Right. So, Mr. Brian. Would you like to say, uh, <laughs> how do you feel your first fall? Uh, actually, it was quite good. Quite good? Yeah, yeah. All right. It wasn't so cold. I see, I see. Yeah. I think in about five minutes you will see Mr. Brian flying On in the black here. Slope. Yeah, yeah, and he can do it, man. <laughs> Come on, give me your fist. Good job. <laughs> So uh, this is the elevator that will take you up and uh, we will experience every step of the process. Karakol Ski Resort is 7 kilometers from Karakol City on the slopes of Tian Shan Mountains, 2,300 meters above sea level. Karakol Ski Resort is a great place for both professionals and amateurs since the resort offers tracks of various levels of complexity. The regional climate is mild, average winter temperature is minus 5 degrees Celsius. All this time you should not worry about snow, it covers the ground with a dance of about 2 meters thick. If you are feeling to go off the beaten track, then you are most welcome to do so. Come to the ski resort which has history of the past and feeling of the present. I did it and it was pretty easy. Uh, we got through the first ski elevator and we are going to the second one, which will probably take us even further up. So this first elevator will take you to the beginner level um, side. And if you want a little more difficult uh, experience, then you go a bit further up. So we will go and see that second elevator. So when you come here you will get something like this in order to have the access to the elevators and uh, yeah so through this you can go up and down if you don't have it please have it As I told you earlier guys, you can come here even just for the sake of the view, you know, if you, even if you don't ski, you can just come and just enjoy this majestic view under the sun. Just look at it, come on, look at this great view. Isn't it great? It is really great and relaxing. And so as you can see, local people are enjoying it and today is November 26 and even though there aren't so many snow, so much snow, people are skiing it and actually Tomorrow is promising to be the snowy day and we will have even more and lots of snow. So don't worry about snow, you will get it for sure. So uh, uh, what's your name, mister? My name is Samad. Samad and? Akhnazar. Great. Are you from Karakol or Bishkek or somewhere? I'm from Malay. Malay region, really? All the way from Osh, Osh side? Yes, of course. Wow, you see people coming all the way from Osh to this place. And why don't you come all the way from Europe to ski here? You can definitely do it and maybe even all the way from the US or Australia, why not? 
and if you're really tired of those European of uh, very old maybe not old but I would say two popular places here's another place for you to experiment thank you mister yes. enjoy your time okay. thank enjoy you. your time too Uh, so people, after enjoying your time with your girlfriend or boyfriend, having a cup of coffee and talking and just having fun, you go down and probably experience another uh, downhill. But let's talk a little bit about Karakol. Out there you can see the city view. And uh, so when you come to Karakol, you basically re you can receive all the services you need. You can get a ho nice hotel or hostel or guest house nice restaurants we got new coffee places where you can enjoy your favorite coffee if you love bars there are quite uh, good i would say not so many but quite good several of them and um, yeah there are also opportunities to go to get to know local people in caracol as well uh, local food there are special um, organizations that can make you uh, really enjoy your time in caracol not only in the mountains So hello people, we have a friend somewhere from Russia, right? No, I'm local. Local from Bishkek? No, from Karakol. From Karakol, yeah. great, <laughs> wow. So, can you please share, would you recommend this place for Europeans? Uh, it's a really nice place yeah, for different riders, for beginners, for the um, free riders, for extremal riders. Uh, here you can find the uh, very nice places, uh, nice snow. Uh, and, and also uh, not so big prices, oh. really. So we are in the midst of the event and it seems to be quite noisy out here and the people are enjoying their time and trying to get as much prices as possible. Uh, some people just hanging around and drinking coffee. Uh, yeah, sometimes it gets pretty busy like this. So guys, here is one winner uh, and he got some prize. And what's your name, mister? Uh, my name is Gennady Wojtenka. Okay. I'm Great. from Bishkek, I'm local. All right. Are you enjoying the place? Sure. Every year, two times in season, I'm coming to Garakol and every time I'm drinking, Great. Great. I have a party, Great. and always skiing, Great. but uh, without ghosts. All right. And why do you enjoy this place? Why? Because this is the one of the best ski resorts in Kyrgyzstan and uh, <laughs> This is the really friendly and funny place because a lot of beautiful people and I like it and the free beer sometimes but great. So can we make a brief interview with you and Mr. Brian? Woo, almost! Almost! What are you doing? In the first time, uh -huh. it fell like every five meters, but yeah. now just like maybe two times yeah. in one run. So it's great. great. We are having a friend from Hungary, and are you enjoying your time so far? Yeah, I, we love it. it. It has been really fun. Great. It's been a fun day. Great. Uh, would you like to share your impressions? Yeah, actually, uh, it is so quiet here. It's so calm. There's not too many people, so like you can really enjoy skiing here actually and it's a perfect place for beginners like uh, Brian is trying to learn uh, skiing so like for him it's great because there are not too many people he can just experiment mm, so that's sounds, great. sounds great would you like to get a higher challenge maybe go to the next level or something like oh, that yeah definitely definitely I just need to take <laughs> I see. We, just need, we just need a little time so that he can uh, get up to level and then we will go together up there yeah sounds great
we actually plan to ski for several days. So like today is like learning phase and then yeah. we will check sounds out the other stuff as sounds well. Sounds great. Do you think you will recommend this place for other Europeans like Swiss people or French or German? Yeah, definitely, yes. Like I've been skiing in uh, Austria, Italy and France before. So like I have, I can compare uh, these places a little bit. And like what I like here is that it's the beginning of the season and there is already good snow and there is like new snow coming this mm. weekend. And uh, the slopes are in great condition. There's not many people, so nice. it's a really nice place. Nice. And actually the equipment rental is, is great as well. Affordable? Affordable and like I think good quality. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. And our special <laughs> friend, Mr. Brian, the star Hi. of the day. And Mr. Brian, so we know, remember our, your first fall. Yeah. And since then, uh, what have you been experiencing? Falling and falling and falling. <laughs> no, so yeah, basically I uh, did it like four times, the slope, and it was quite good. Uh, in every try it was much better and better maybe the end of the day will be much better wow <laughs> so people as i mentioned to you earlier brian is so special because he's having his first skiing ever in his <laughs> life and he's he's having it in kyrgyzstan isn't it great so people i have one recommendation for you uh, for your break time bring something from your home and make homemade sandwich like for example Mr. Brian has something homemade and um, yeah so you I recommend to bring some cheese some uh, some sausage and make yourself and it's going to be a lot cheaper for you to save up some money and also for some reason Lucy brought pepper I think it's nice right to have yeah. pepper on your sandwich as well pretty nice yeah. and uh, you can get pretty cheap coffee and tea from here and as for other things that provide yourself um, and also you can bring some dried fruit uh, like this to give you some extra energy when you are <gasps> so tired on the way. So that's just a brief recommendation. I don't know whether it's actually a recommendation or not, but anyway, just for the talk as well. So overall, this place seemed to be affordable, great view, I would say majestic view of the mountain. We had great weather and by the way, soon there will be even more snow, even more people. And you should definitely come and i'm sure 100 percent you'll enjoy the place and you won't regret it at all and have the guts to come here travel and do your best come on so people this was visit caracol thank you for watching us and we would like to say thank you to zarina restaurant and dustricon restaurant and actually we recommend you to visit those places they have great food and great drinks and so thank you for watching stay in touch if you have any other questions let us know and this was Mr. Steve, visit Caracol. See you soon.